All right, well, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm just walking over to the game store. My uh, local hobby shop, in case you haven't been following the channel, is Dragon Star Hobbies. And just doing a little video while I walk. Uh, this isn't what I wanted to do for a hundredth video. Uh, I don't usually like doing vlog videos like this, but unfortunately some... Uh, well, for example, I wanted to do an, another Drunk Magic video. The cards that I wanted to get for that did not come in, uh, so that didn't pan out. And I wanted to do uh, another Legacy deck, uh, a little silly one, <laughs> actually. I'll, I'll admit, uh, Fluctuator is a bit of a silly deck. And I wanted to show that to you. Maybe do that drunk as well. I don't know. For a hundredth video. And a hundred subscriber video. But I haven't been able to do what I would have liked. So instead, just uh, two quick things in this video. Uh, we'll get to the announcements for the channel uh, later, hopefully. If I should remember to for, the, for this video. We'll get to the announcements. Uh, but, and I apologize for the, the sounds you're hearing. That's the road. Um, but I'm actually starting another, uh, I say another, um, I'm starting my own card game. And <laughs> I've, at this point, it's definitely in the brainstorm stage. I'm running by, running it by some friends and working on designing the cards. Two things to note about this, I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! and I play Magic. Not in that order. <laughs> uh, and I don't want it to be a clone of either of those. I very much dislike when I see a new card game and it just feels like a clone. We're going to use a, a resource system like what Magic uses, or we're not going to use a resource system at all. Uh, are the ends of the spectrums, I suppose. Of the spectrum, rather. So, I wanted to do something different. I also was watching a lecture by uh, Richard Garfield. I'll either put an overlay here or uh, a link in the description below. And Richard Garfield was talking about, among other things, the balance between skill and luck that you have to have in a card game, or in a game, really, in order to make it successful. If you put too much uh, emphasis on skill, then you deter players that may be a little bit more casual. Uh, but you also don't want to put so much luck that people that actually want to put skill into the game dedicate their time and energy and money sometimes. You don't want to put so much luck into it that they can't win. Or feel like when you play those fighting games where all you do is you just button mash the whole time and that person actually wins, they can even win against someone who's played for a really long time. Uh, that's not the kind of game that I want to make. So the primary gimmick, <laughs> mechanic, whatever you want to say, in this game is that players take their turns at the same time. That's the focus that I'd like to have, uh, and everything else from the game, uh, mechanically speaking, stems from that. Stems from players going at the same time. Taking all their actions at the same time. Uh, and I don't want to get too much into the the details of the mechanics, because, I don't know, that, that's probably pretty subject to change. But, I'll give you that much at least. Uh, that one, that one thing I am positive is not going to change. Uh, and secondly, what I'd like to do for this, uh, for this game is, <laughs> uh, I would very much like to make it a charity. Uh, <laughs> If this game were somehow to take off, I want it to benefit something. And I, I, I don't want it to be something that just gets taken over by a major corporation and then from there on is just, just making money. Not really doing anyone who doesn't work for it any good beyond just getting the fun in the game, which is good. But I want to do something more. We run down this hill. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. I, I see people on YouTube play games for charity. I see AGDQ 
or uh, SGDQ, Summer Games Done Quickly. And I want to do something like that. Uh, I Now that I have a channel that can make a decent... Uh, it has a, has a following. Now that I have a channel that looks like it could do something, I want it to. So when I, I haven't started a Kickstarter for this yet because like I said, I'm still in the brainstorming phase, but when I do that, link in the description below. When I have that set up, and there's probably like a little annotation now on the screen, if that has been made, uh, <laughs> linking you to the Kickstarter. Because uh, YouTube won't let you link to a lot of places off of YouTube, but it will Kickstarter, thankfully. Uh, just, uh, I want to do something consequential. Uh, I'm far from a YouTube celebrity, but to the extent that I have done or could do anything on YouTube, I wanted to make a difference. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to show you guys new decks, fun decks, deck ideas of mine. Not just to make myself a better player, but to give you guys something to watch, some some fun, add something to your life, is, is what I'm going for. Well, um, <laughs> I hope that I've succeeded in that, and I want to do more. So just giving you a heads up, uh, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to start a, a card game. I, I think I have a name. I think I want it to be something like, I like the name Mind Wide Open, or Minds Wide Open. I really like that idea. Um, magic is all about magic. I think I want this to be like psychics, people shooting up stuff with their mind, and uh, I don't know. Just, just what comes to mind anyway. That's super subject to change, but that's what I have so far. Uh, <laughs> well... Announcements. Announcements for the channel. Uh, shortly, no, uh, work has begun for me again. And by begun, I mean I'm now doing enough that it's quite likely that it'll uh, coincide with days that I would be going and recording. So either my upload rate will have to go down, which I really don't want, but may happen, unfortunately, or I will have to start doing more recordings from home which means more games against the missus, or uh, anyone that's able to come over. Probably more legacy games, too. Especially now that I'm working on another legacy deck. Let me walk backwards for just a sec. Um, this is not going to work. Let's try this anyway. Arm's getting tired. Let's try that. There you go. <laughs> well, um, other than that, deck's coming out. I am working on a Popper High Tide combo deck because at our uh, game shop you can use paper popper cards, cards that like uh, Him to Turok and High Tide that were never printed as um, as paper com as online commons. Um, so that's something that's coming forward. Blouses, <laughs> modern blouses. If you ever get the chance, go to. I'm actually not sure if you could type that in and get a YouTube video. But something like Legacy Blouses, or Legacy Spectral Bant, I'm working on a deck for that. I already have most of it. I'm fortunate enough to uh, already have Noble Hierarchs and enough green fetches, green shocks, that I think I could do it in Modern, if not uh, Legacy. Uh, the way that it works, turn one Mana Dork. Hopefully you can turn two into a uh, Troll Aesthetic or preferably a Geist of St. Traft, or <laughs> I like Avon Mimeomancer. I think I want to include him in the, in the deck as well. It, I don't know, him, her, it, whatever. And uh, <laughs> you, you want to stick one of your Hexproof dudes and just keep swinging. Uh, make sure to get, so, so uh, Unstable Mutation, Spectral Flight, uh, probably Daybreak Coronet, and Ethereal Armor, or Hyena Umbra. Some suite, some package of uh, auras to make these things as big as possible and to make Daybreak Coronet really work. Because that is such a powerful card if you can fit it into your deck. Uh, ideally, my turn three swings are going to be ginormous, but 
<laughs> in a format that's as fast as modern. Uh, I'm not sure that that's going to be enough. So here's to hoping. Uh, other decks I'm working on. Legacy Fluctuator. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, there's a number of different ways to do it, but I like the idea that my good friend, uh, I don't think he'd mind me saying his name, uh, Paul, against whom I've played before, uh, video overlays here, hopefully. Uh, I like his idea of it, which is not to get a bunch of creatures in the grave, uh, cycling creatures, but instead to play a lot of cycling utility spells, things like miscalculation, unearth, uh, Lull, I think, is one of them. Angel Song. Forgive me if I'm messing up the names, but hopefully I'll just have picture overlays here. And uh, being able to play those it, to give you a, a different. Um, it, I don't want to say to give you a different way to play, but just to give you things to actually do against your opponent. Uh, rather than just being a combo deck, and if you get disrupted at all, you're in trouble. You want to be able to counter things, you want to be able to kill creatures, or bring your stuff back, so on and so forth. Uh, and it wins with a Laboratory Maniac. <sighs> just draw your deck. Uh, so that would be rather nice. Uh, anything else beyond that? Uh, you'll get to see more Midnight Pod. Hopefully, now that I have birthing pods, now that I've come to the dark side, I would like to play some more pod variants. Something unusual, not Malir Pod or Kiki Pod. I want to play something uh, that you don't see all that often. Hence Midnight Pod. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, if there's anything else, I will try to do a follow-up to this afterwards. Um, oh, one more, one more. I have yet another Legacy deck that is actually mostly built. I am very thankful that I already have my uh, Stoneforge Mystics and so on and so forth. It's a artifact and enchantment variant on Death and Taxes. For Enlightened Tutor, I haven't come up with a name for it yet. I don't like Enlightened Death and Taxes. That just sounds like, oh, when, you, uh, when you're watching a standard game, uh, a standard match. It's blue-white control versus red devotion. Yeah, we get it. I want to make up a special name. Legacy, and to a lesser extent modern, they get crazy names for their decks, like, like Ten Fins, and why am I drawing a blank? I know there's a lot more than Ten Fins. Uh, Sneak and Show is kind of a name that gives itself away. Countertop. Why am I having such a hard time with this? Oh well. Anyway. As soon as I get done recording this, I'm just gonna... Oh yeah! But for right now, let me give a, a little bit of a jump. Okay. And again. This one looks a little trickier. Okay. <laughs> not a great landing. Uh, yeah, it's not that high. I just stepped on something when I landed, that's all. Uh, so, yeah, I will I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm heading to my local game store. That means I'm recording more games. Tonight's Popper Night. Expect some Popper videos. Uh, by the time this is up, invariably, I will already have recorded them. And now it is really loud with all the cars going by. So, just to give you guys... <laughs> uh, I'm done. Now I'm just talking. Now I'm just... Painter Grindstone? That's... No, that tells you what it is. Imperial Painter also tells you what it is. Uh... Death and Taxes. Death and Taxes! Of course! That's a, that's a deck that doesn't give itself away in its name. You don't know what Death and Taxes is just by hearing Death and Taxes. Oh well. I will see you guys in the next video.